Hi, I'm James Norton, Chow.com Super Taster. It's six degrees below zero here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I'm at Whole Foods, home to the Calhoun Diner, uh, an attached Whole Foods related restaurant. I'm here to try the 100% vegetarian fed, 100% beef burger here. Uh, I'm just trying to explore the contrast between the Whole Foods sort of healthy high quality mantra and uh, the greasy American diner aesthetic and see how that turns out. In order to really kind of play up what we discover here, I want to pit the burger here against the burger at another diner. Denny's. I feel as though if the Whole Foods quality on the plate is going to shine in comparison to anything, it's going to be the burger served up right here. I'll be doing takeout and trying both burgers in the car so I can loudly express whatever my opinions happen to be. But yeah, let's manage expectations and start here at Denny's. All right, I'm here in the car with the Denny's burger, which cost uh, about $6.50, which is more expensive than I thought, and I think it's going to be about equivalent to the Whole Foods burger. But uh, let's take a bite. Not the finest burger I've ever tasted, but definitely not the worst. It's a little dry. There's a really good char to it. A lot of sesame seeds on the bun, which I always approve of. And it's it's well seasoned, too. So it doesn't taste like the world's finest meat, but it's been handled with a surprising amount of skill and care. Uh, so I'm going to give this burger yeah, $6.50. Uh, I'm going to give it one of these. I wouldn't go back for it, but uh, I certainly wouldn't object to eating it again. All right, we're back with the Whole Foods burger. Uh, actually exactly the same price as Denny's, six bucks plus some tax. Uh, let's give this a bite and see how it compares to its American diner equivalent. Beef tastes a little bit better. Uh, there is a little bit more richness and fullness to it. Not giant difference there. It's actually not seasoned as well. Uh, I like that Denny's uh, was a little more aggressive with the seasoning and char. The bun is really nice. The huge uh, difference, I would say, actually, between the Whole Foods burger and the Denny's burger, surprisingly, is toppings. The lettuce and the onions are just a lot more tender and fresh tasting here at Whole Foods, which I think ultimately makes a real difference in the way the final burger comes down. Now, is a diner-style burger necessarily the way Whole Foods should be expressing itself? I think that's up for grabs, but they've done a pretty good job with it. Certainly beat Denny's on the flavor uh, flavor front. It's a little bit of a smaller burger, but honestly, I like that, proportionately speaking. So I'm going to give it one of these. I, uh, I might actually eat one of these again. Um, for Chow.com, I'm James Norton, the Super Taster. I'll be back in a couple more days with more food.